Hey there SM, I'm pretty sure we have all been to the website Stack Overflow and shamelessly copied the code provided by the good people on the internet over to our project. Now I'm not here to talk about our shamelessness, but have you ever thought about the term Stack Overflow? What does Stack Overflow actually mean? Well, in short, Stack is just one of the many data structure in programming, just like array, tuple, dictionary, set, and many other data structures. The way that stack works is just like a pile of dishes. When we want to store a new item, we place it on the top of the stack. And when we want to retrieve an item, we take it from the top of the stack. And that is basically it. Stack is using a last in first out design. Due to its nature, it is super fast and lightweight. So going back to our original question, what does stack overflow mean? It simply means putting so much data onto a stack until it overflows. Every stack has a storage limit, and when the stack is overflowed, it typically means that the app will crash. Now here's a question though, why is a practical example of stack being used in programming? You see, when we correct things in our program, like variables or functions, this thing will not just magically appear and stay persistent. Behind the scene, our language engine somehow needs to store these things inside our computer's memory. And to store things, we'll need to use a data structure. In a lot of programming language, stack is commonly used to store function codes. We will use JavaScript as a short example. I'm pretty sure you have seen errors in your code before. When your programming language throws you an error, they'll normally provide you the logs that leads to the error source. This is what we normally call a stack trace. And because function calls are stored inside a stack, when an error happens, we're able to tear down the stack one by one until we have reached the first function call. Since we're able to trace back to the first function call, therefore we're calling this log a stack trace. Now there's another type of data structure called heaps in most programs. In contrast to stack, heap is more like a box and is served like a generic storage where we'll store variables and other data in here. Now whenever we store an item inside a heap, we'll get back a reference that points to the memory address of the item that we just stored inside a heap. This reference is also known as a pointer. Now whenever we want to edit, say, a variable, the program will actually look up the memory address inside the heap, retrieve the value, and perform the update. This involves a lot more steps than the stack, and that makes heaps slower than a stack. Furthermore, we need a mechanism to clear out unused or stale variables that are no longer in the scope. Most languages have something called the garbage collector to clear the data that is no longer in use. In other words, the role of the garbage collector is to clean out the items that are no longer needed inside the box. The garbage collector is a rather complicated mechanism and it adds more burden to the heap. And that makes the heap a lot more complex and slower, but at the same time, more powerful and flexible than the stack. The last data structure that I want to introduce to you here is called the queue. The queue data structure is very similar to queue in real life. When we queue up for something, by nature, it always goes on with the first in, first out basis. The first one in the queue get processed first, followed by the second one, and so on and so forth. Now, queue is a very useful data structure and is used in a lot of applications, especially in asynchronous programming. The idea is, if we got a time-consuming task to do, instead of letting the customer to wait until the task is completed, we could put a task onto a queue and process it later. And that is essentially asynchronous programming. You can see queue in a lot of places. For example, JavaScript uses the queue data structure to run its asynchronous event loop. All right, key takeaways for this lesson. Stack is a data structure similar to a pile of dishes. Data is stored on a first in last out basis. Stack is fast and lightweight by nature. And it is commonly used to store function calls in many programming languages. Heap is a space where we'll store generic items for example, variables and data. Most programming languages utilize a garbage collector to clear data that is no longer needed in a heap. Heap is slower but more flexible and useful compared to stack. We typically refer to data that is stored inside a heap using a reference or pointer. Q is first in first out by nature. It is commonly used to store tasks where they'll be executed later on. It is widely used in asynchronous programming. That's it for now and I'll see you again in the next lesson.